students in this video we will discuss about vane's bridge it is used to find capacitance of a given capacitor you know that this is basic ac bridge we have already learned about it in previous video if we replace its component of the arm like this then it is known as vane's bridge here d b the detector it is either a pair of headphones or null detector and this is an ac source it measure capacitance c1 in terms of standard capacitor c2 and two resistances r3 and r4 here we assume that the condensers are without losses and all the resistances are perfectly non reactive if we compare the components of this bridge with the components of the respective arms of this basic bridge then we found that z1 equal to r1 plus 1 upon j omega c1 z2 equal to r2 plus 1 upon j omega c2 z3 equal to r3 and z4 equal to r4 using bridge balance condition that is z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 we have r1 plus 1 upon j omega c1 into r4 equal to r2 plus 1 upon j omega c2 into r3 expanding it r1 r4 plus r4 upon j omega c1 equal to r2 r3 plus r3 upon j omega c2 equating real and imaginary parts we get r1 r4 equal to r2 r3 or r1 equal to r2 into r3 upon r4 say equation 1 and r4 upon j omega c1 equal to r3 upon j omega c2 cancelling j omega from both the sides we have r4 upon c1 equal to r3 upon c2 or c1 equal to c2 into r4 upon r3 say equation 2 these two formula are the bridge balance conditions both bridge balance conditions are independent of each other and of frequency these conditions are satisfied by successive adjustment of c2 and r2 because adjustment of c2 do not affect on this condition and adjustment of r2 doesn't affect on this condition when bridge is balanced the minimum sound is heard in the headphone or a maximum separation between the slits of a null detector is obtained now we will find the parameters of the bridge here in this arm of the bridge capacitance c1 and resistance r1 are in series the parameters of rc series connections are explained in previous videos so we will use those formula and derive the parameters for this bridge first impedance angle theta by applying the general formula for rc series connections for impedance angle theta we can write tan theta equal to 1 upon omega c1 r1 substituting the values of r1 and c1 from this equation 1 and 2 we get tan theta equal to 1 upon omega c2 r4 upon rt into r2 r3 upon r4 this r4 r4 and this r3 r3 cancel hence tan theta equal to 1 upon omega c2 r2 and therefore theta equal to tan inverse 1 upon omega c2 r2 next power factor cos theta for r1 c1 series connection power factor is defined as cos theta equal to r1 upon r1 plus 1 upon j omega c1 putting the values of r1 and c1 from equation 1 and 2 we have cos theta equal to r2 into r3 upon r4 upon r2 into r3 upon r4 plus 1 upon j omega c2 r4 upon r3 
if we transfer this entire numerator terms at denominator then cos theta equal to 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon j omega c2 r2 next quality factor for r1 c1 series connection quality factor is defined as q equal to 1 upon omega c1 r1 putting the values of r1 and c1 from equation 1 and 2 we get q equal to 1 upon omega c2 r4 upon r3 into r2 r3 upon r4 by simplification we obtain q equal to 1 upon omega c2 r2 here q proportional to 1 upon c2 it means high quality factor is obtained with low capacitance and last dissipation factor it is defined for series r1 c1 circuit as df equal to omega c1 r1 or it is equal to 1 upon q it means it is reciprocal of q and therefore from this equation we can write dissipation factor equal to omega c2 r2 that's all in next video we will take sharing bridge thank you